Hey girls, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a super cute nail look. I do have the same design on my other hand. I'm just going to be repeating the same thing so you see how I did it. I do have a little cut on the side of my pinky, but just try to ignore that. I have already placed my jelly tips on my nails and painted them a nude color. So now we're ready for the nail art. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using the Bella Vina Gel Art Liner Collection. I am using the blue one, which is number 8. I will also be using the white gel art liner, which is number 9. I'm going to start with the blue gel art liner, and I'm just going to go ahead and remove some of the excess gel polish from the brush. That way I can have some very thin and crisp lines. I'm just going to start by doing a blue French tip nail on my pinky. I'm starting by drawing a curved line from the side of my nail all the way to the center of the nail. This is my smile line for the French tip nail. After I have the smile line carved out, I'm then going to go ahead and fill in the rest of the French tip nail with the blue gel art liner. These gel art liners make doing hand painted French tip nails super easy. I love how you can create very thin and crisp lines. It gives you a lot of precision and the pigment of these gel polishes are very strong. Since I have already done my other hand, I'm just going to quickly check and make sure that the French tip nail is exactly the same length and shape. I'm just going to go back in and go ahead and fix some of the issues in my smile line. After I've completed this nail, I am going to cure under the UV LED nail lamp for one minute. After the nail is cured, I'm then going to take this little gel polish palette that I have. This is just to place some gel polish on to easily pick up with my dotting tool. I am going to take a small drop of the white gel art liner and I'm going to place this on the palette just so that I can easily pick it up with my dotting tool. After I have the drop of white gel polish, I'm then going to take my dotting tool, the small side, and I'm going to pick up some of that white gel polish. I'm going to be drawing clouds on the French tip design. So to create clouds, I like to add a bunch of dots in one little group until I have a form that looks like a cloud. I do usually like to make the center of the cloud a little bit higher up than the sides of the cloud. And I'm just going to repeat this two more times on the French tip design. I feel like clouds are one of the easiest designs that you can do for the fact that no two clouds are exactly the same. You can just draw a big blob of white and you can say it's a cloud and no one can argue with you because clouds are basically little blobs in the sky. I think it's so simple and easy to do, it's great for beginners. Once I have the clouds, I'm then going to take a small square brush, this one is very thin. I'm then going to start tapping the bottoms of the clouds. This is going to blend out the gel polish just a little bit. I feel like it gives the clouds a more natural look. I really like this, but if you don't want to do this step, you definitely don't have to. So I'm going to do that to all of the clouds. After I have my clouds painted, I'm then going to cure under the nail lamp again. For the next nail, I am also using the same blue gel art liner. I'm going to be creating a checker design on this nail. You can make your checkers as big or as small as you would like, but personally I wanted to make them a little bit bigger, that way I didn't have to repeat the same step over and over. I started by drawing a line going down the center of the nail, and then I drew a straight line going off to the side. I'm then going to go ahead and fill in that square with the gel art liner. I then move down the nail a little bit and I'm going to draw another square on the opposite side of the previous square. So I'm just drawing the line off to the right side of the nail. I did want to make this quite square so I didn't want rectangles or anything. So once I have the outline of that square, I'm going to go ahead and fill it in also. I'm going to repeat the same step to do another square on the left side of the bottom of the nail. After I have those lines straight, I'm then going to cure under the lamp. Next, I'm going to be drawing a smiley face design, so I'm taking the white gel art liner. I am going to go ahead and remove some of the excess polish from the brush. I'm then going to start drawing a circle on the nail. 
You can do this design however you would like, but personally, I did not want to try to make a perfect circle. I knew that it was going to be so time consuming and I wouldn't be able to do it with my non-dominant hand. So I just drew a quick outline of a circle and that's how I did it. Once I have my circle, I'm then going to add two lines on the top for the eyes. And of course, I'm going to give this smiley face a really nice smile. This is just a curved line at the bottom of the circle. Once I have the smiley face like I want, I am going to cure under the nail lamp. For the next nail, I'm going back to the blue gel art liner. And for this nail, I'm going to be doing some abstract swirls. So I'm starting on the right side of the bottom of the nail and I'm just drawing a curved line until I reach the free edge of the nail. I'm then going to go back and thicken up the edges of that line just to give it a little bit more depth. Once the line is how I want, I'm then going to cure under the nail lamp. I am going to be mixing up a lighter shade of blue. When I do abstract swirl nails, I personally like to use different shades of one color. I did just add this directly onto the white gel polish dot that I previously had. I did want the color to be a little bit lighter, so I went ahead and added a little bit more of the white gel art liner. Once I have that color mixed very well, I'm then going to add a second line next to the previous line that I just created. And of course, I'm going to go back and thicken up the edges of that line. To avoid contaminating my gel art liner bottle, I am going to clean this brush before I insert it back into the bottle. So if you use the same brush from the bottle, make sure to clean it very well before putting it back. And then I'm going to cure under the lamp. I'm then going to repeat the same step one more time with the white gel art liner. I wanted to do a very thin line so I make sure to wipe all of the excess polish off of the brush. I'm then going to start drawing my star so I'm just drawing a T shape in the nude area of the nail. Once I have that outlined, I'm then going to create another star on the other side of the swirls. I'm then going to take my dotting tool and add a small dot in the center of those stars and I'm actually going to also add some small dots around those bigger stars just to fill in any gaps. Once I have that like I want, I am going to cure under the nail lamp. For the index nail, I am going back with the white gel art liner and for this nail, I'm creating another hand painted French tip nail. I do want to make this as even as I can with the other French tip nail, that way everything flows together very well. Once I have the smile line outlined, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the tip of the nail. Once I have the French tip like I want, I am going to cure under the nail lamp. I'm then going back in with the blue gel art liner and I'm going to add a dot of this onto the nail palette to easily pick up with my dotting tool. I'm then going to take the dotting tool and using the bigger side of that dotting tool, I am going to be adding dots over the entire French tip nail. For this design, I wanted the dots at the free edge of the nail to be a little bit bigger and darker than the dots at the base of the nail. I'm making sure not to dip the dotting tool into the gel polish as I get down to the base of the nail. This is just going to create dots that look like they're ombre. You may also want to space the dots out a little bit more as you get closer to the cuticle area. This will give you a more ombre polka dot effect. Once I have that like I want, I am going to cure under the nail lamp. For the thumbnail, I'm going to go back with the blue gel art liner. And for this nail, I'm going to be creating a heart on my thumbnail in the center. The heart is going to have eyes, so I think this design is so cute. I'm just going to start by outlining my heart and go ahead and fill it in.
Once I have it like I want, I am going to cure under the lamp. I'm then going back with the white gel art liner and I am making sure I don't have too much polish on the brush. I'm then going to create eye shapes on both sides of the heart. These eye shapes are facing downwards. I just love the look of this design. Once I have the white part of the eyes, I'm going to cure under the nail lamp. I'm then going to take the small side of my dotting tool and I'm going to be adding two black dots into the eyes. You do want to make sure that these dots are very even just to make sure that the eyes look correct. Once I have those eyes, I am going to cure under the nail lamp. After the nails are cured, I'm then going to take my Bella Vena No Wipe Gel Top Coat and I'm going to be applying this onto all of the nails. I absolutely love this gel top coat. I love the consistency. It does give the nails a very gorgeous shine and this is one of my favorite gel top coats. I'm then going to cure the nails for one minute. After the nails are cured, I'm then going to take my cuticle oil, which is number 6, and I'm going to apply this to all of my cuticles. It's really important to rehydrate your skin after doing each and every manicure. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video.